Hi Gemini, this is your general tarot reading for Gemini Sun, Moon and Ascendant or Rising Sign for the month of July. So Gemini will shuffle the cards as always and see what's going to come out. And in the meantime, let's talk about these energies that are surrounding you for July and hopefully let's see how you can master the energies. Okay, so let's begin at the beginning. We know that maybe since the time of your birthday or even recently, you might have been caught up in a little wicked web, an entanglement with somebody. And the reason being is that you saw the bad behavior in somebody else just at the point when you were at your highest. Yeah. And you, you, you saw something hidden in them. You saw that they picked a moment when you may have been taking your eye off the ball, taking your mind somewhere else, and they came in and they pulled a little bit of a power trip on you. And what's worse is that they, they might have pointed out something hidden in you or something that is a kind of a, a, a sore point or a soft point in you, and brought it out into the open, but with a sense of, I'm telling you this because I care, because I'm a good person. And what you realize, Gemini, is that, sure, what they said may have been true, but it didn't come from a place of them caring and of them saying, you know, it's, I'm only telling you this because, you know, you're important or blah, blah, blah. No, you quickly realize that, it's all a power game. That somehow, at your weak moment maybe, that they, they took an opportunity to try to shift a type of power dynamic, to have one over on you, but doing it from a very sanctimonious and pious place. And what this is doing, it's enraging you, and it has been for the last maybe two weeks, it's been infuriating you and you've been trying to figure out how to handle it. Yeah, you've been digging very, very deep uh, to see how to handle this and you've been getting very serious about this. It's almost the element of you've done this to me before or I have seen this before and I might have brushed it off before or you might have made me feel powerless by doing shit like this before. Look at these cards, yeah, but you're not going to trick me again. You might have tricked me once, but you're not going to trick me twice, in the words of Khalees. And it's a bit like that. You're saying, oh no, I see what you've done here. You've tried to catch me. You've tried to pull something over on me, get one over on me, pull a power trip on me. And now I see your game. You're playing a type of psychological game. But I see you, baby. I see you, baby. Yeah. And now it's like, okay, stay quiet. Have a think about this. What am I going to do? And the answer is play a smart game. But don't play their game. This is the big difference. Play a smart game, Gemini but don't play their game. And they really don't stand a chance when you play a smart game because ultimately there's only one of them, but there's two of you, baby. Yeah. Um, they will trip themselves up. They will catch themselves out. And they, they, they will trip up eventually, they will. And the difference here is, it's, it's, it's like a big shift in perspective this month that you are saying that you will never, ever, ever, ever have the chance or opportunity to do that shit to me ever again. And there's a kind of steeliness in you now, a determination. Yes, something big has turned in your mind, a light has gone off, a big turnaround has happened. And you're saying, never, 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 never again. I'll smile and nod to you. I'll communicate with you. I'll be polite with you. But after seeing what I've seen in you, I'm taking control back. I'm taking my power back. 
and karma will come. You know, with Chiron there in your 11th house, the 11th house can sometimes, you know, be the house of the heavens of ultimate truth. And Chiron is saying, no, go back, 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 and find your truth. It's like in whatever entanglement that you've gotten yourself into with somebody, that there's your version of the truth, their version of the truth, but somewhere in the middle, there is an ultimate version of the truth, and you will learn it this month, my love. You certainly will. And supporting all of this, you know, with, with the sun in your second house, maybe you're retreating a little bit, going into a quiet place to relearn how to take your power back, how to regain control, but not with a sense of getting somebody back. It's not that, it's like a lesson learned. I've seen what you've done. You did catch me out. You did pull a fast one on me. You did get the upper hand. I'm not looking for revenge, but instead what I've learned from this is never to put myself in that position, as I said, ever again. I'm reclaiming my power. I'm holding my head up high. And like I said, I will smile and nod to you. I will be polite, but underneath, Underneath the other twin is <clears throat> you just wait, you just wait. Now, with Mercury, Venus, and then the Sun eventually going into your third house, and Mercury will retrograde there, uh, there is an element of getting your communication clear, everything you're writing, everything you're saying, get really slick. Get your style together, get your words together. So in a form of protection too, so you don't trip up at it during this tricky energy. Um, make it clean, make it clear, make it light as always. And with Mercury going retrograde, you might feel that you have to go back a little bit, double back on your words, go back a bit on what you said. If, if it was something that you said that allowed the other person kind of act all sanctimonious and catch you out, then go back, go back a bit and, and examine that. You know, there's luck in going back and examining and analyzing as Jupiter goes direct in your sixth house. The words you've said, the things you've written, uh, maybe stuff on social media, um, something that you've communicated that yes, you might have to go back, open it out, Jupiter spreading it, expanding it, opening it out, analyzing it, getting into the nitty gritty of the details and seeing what, what went wrong. What did I say wrong? What did I say this time that cut me out? And how do I fix that so that never ever happens again? Uh, it's like changing, opening out and expanding your style of communication so that you can analyze it, so that you can be smarter with your words, smarter with your communication, slicker. Now, Jupiter is expanding the sixth house, which is also to do with your workplace, your office, your work environment. So you could get a bit of a lucky break there if that's what you've been waiting on, Gemini. A little bit of luck coming into your work sphere could happen. That's a nice thing. And in terms of your health, if you've been very stressed out, if your nerves have just been like a cat on a hot tin roof, then what you might find is that you might be able to have a real proper look at how to fix that. And maybe, like I said, get a lucky opportunity in terms of your health. Maybe you might get a, I don't know, a lucky opportunity to join a gym or a lucky opportunity to stumble across something which is like, oh, that's what I need to kind of balance my stress levels or to get myself fighting fit. That's what I need. Yeah, a return to exercise. Now look, here we go. This is your card, Gemini, coming out, the magician. Yeah, mercurial energy. There's a mercurial energy there too, also with the Virgo card. Virgo, yeah, okay, influencing there. Possibly to do with the sixth house energy, Jupiter expanding a very Virgo style of thinking, which is analyze, scrutinize, get into the details of something, and, and 
and watch for mistakes. Watch for mistakes. Watch for where you may have tripped yourself up. Okay? Now, we do have a new moon in your second house, but it's a partial solar eclipse. And what this might have, but what you might find here, sorry, uh, ooh, look, you've got big cards coming out, Gemini. I think you've been feeling something big. Have you been trapped in a labyrinth or a maze of confusion that you're now coming out of? Yeah, I think you've been trapped in something, trapped in your fears. But yeah, so the new moon is giving you this great big opportunity to, when you come out of this labyrinth, this maze of confusion, you are coming out with a much healthier sense of self-esteem. Like I said, there's that element of, this will never happen to me again. I'm taking back control of my self-worth, my self-esteem, and I will not depend on other people to scrutinize me and tell me what they think about me anymore. Moon in the eighth house as we open the month, there could have been a while there where you might have been worried about your resources too. Um, if For those of you in a relationship, you could have been worried about your partner's income. Might have been a bit of a problem there. Or money that comes from a source that's separate to your central income, separate to your salary, to your wages, money that comes from dividends, taxes, tax issues also, banking issues, could be th it's something that you are, are going to come out of this month, you're going to resolve them, my love, which is nice, nice to hear, uh, but you're quite comfortable with all this energy in the third house, even though Mercury is going retrograding towards the end of the month, uh, you're quite in your zone, you're you're able to talk yourself into a better place yeah it's like you're able to talk yourself where where there was confusion before now you have some stern words for yourself and you're saying let's get this shit together let's be responsible let's let's make it clear in my mind clear in my mind about what I've just passed through and, and the bullshit I've been dealing with. Now there is the big lunar eclipse, you're going to be feeling this through the month, but it is at the end of the month and it's in your ninth house. Now, Mars is also retrograding in your ninth house, so whatever this situation is that I've been describing, it is going to really blow open your doors of perception. It's going to change everything for you, Gemini. Uh, if you had very long-held beliefs about somebody or something, or a very, this is what I believe, this is my belief system also, that is, that is changing. That is definitely changing. A door is closing on what you once believed and a new door is opening to, to a brand new vista, to a brand new panorama. Your world is opening. You're coming out of a kind of small, smallness, small-minded people, small network. You want to, you want to get bigger. You have aspirations. You have dreams, and it seems now that the older aspirations or the older things that you aspire to are closing, and something new is coming to take its place. So that's gorgeous. In terms of those of you who travel a lot or travel for work, or, or even if you've planned a long haul flight, a long journey, maybe to see, it, it's to, to do with foreign people, foreign cultures also, there might be a moment where you close off a period of having to travel far, or having to deal with foreign people in foreign cultures. Something is certainly ending there Something is ending there and your energy is being taken out of it. So uh, with Mars going retrograde, energy being taken out of long range vision, long distance travel, energy being taken out of foreign people, foreign cultures. Um, yeah, so there's something closing there in order for something to get better. But you know, that's it, it is a month where something big, some high drama perhaps, something that was hidden that came to the surface 
it's it's like that's all that's all being cleaned away and your whole attitude and perspective is changing and um, and if there were jealousies or rivalries that were there too look yeah as the months ending we have a nice card waiting on one more card Gemini um, if there were jealousies or rivalries or little bitter pills that were handed to you then you just know that they, that that will end and you'll grow stronger by the end of it and you know you can eventually at the end of the month you know you'll be able to look back at people and in your lovely Gemini style of communicating get your paper and pen out or whatever it is you want to do and say dear asshole whoever it was that really did this shit to you um, I I heard you had a bad case of the jealousies I hope it's not too bad but I do send you all my best and get well soon <laughs> all my love the evil twin <laughs> yeah it, it's it's a bit like that people who are maybe a bit jealous but again it's that jealousy shrouded in niceness you've seen through it baby waiting on this last card come on come on baby if it doesn't come i'll have to choose it myself yeah, I think I'll have to choose it myself. Okay. So the last card is nice. It's you standing strong and independent. So Gemini, let's get to the cards. Now, hopefully, yeah, this side I think it is. Hopefully by now you're seeing the overview of the cards. And let's begin. So you are taking a time out, Gemini. You have grown dissatisfied with somebody's behavior. You, like everything I've explained, you've seen something that isn't quite right about them and you're sitting down at the moment thinking 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 because believe it or not even though we have a new moon building up your self-esteem it's not quite the energy this month like the other months where you go and assert yourself with the new moon it's more it's quieter inwardly assert yourself and see what needs to be fixed see where your self-esteem and self-value were a bit low and where your finances might have suffered too you want your finances to pick up uh, there might have been a period where you might have seen your bank account really start to dwindle and this is you now taking a big big super time out to say what now what now i've seen the bigger picture i've been enlightened I get it now. So what do I do with this information now? And you're sitting contemplating, looking back, looking back on everything that's happened. Now, if you think at any point this month, Gemini, that you're kind of stuck in this labyrinth, stuck in this maze, you've been made a fool of a little bit and you're like, how do I get out of this? Well, the answer is that in this contemplation, in this time of going back, licking your wounds a little bit, the answer will come. And, and it will say, stop focusing and dwelling on what's happened. There is something bigger coming, something much better. You know, it's, it's the same. The universe doesn't want ever, ever, ever to hurt you. It sends you energies to try to get you to grow. And it just seems that July is quite a, a big growth spurt. <laughs> so you felt a, a, a real growth this month happening and that's what this hand is coming out and saying it's saying look here is the cup the cup of healing the cup of reconciliation too some of you might have to make a type of peace with somebody that you may have fallen out with but it's a peace to keep the peace but yet still inside you're saying I won't forget what you've done to me We'll, we'll, we'll make peace here, but I will not forget what has happened. And so drink the healing that's coming. Drink the wine that's offered to you to get you back in a good space. And that is your insights and all the, the wonderful healing messages that will come to you now this month, Gemini. So that's nice. And you're, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about coming up with a new strategy to heal whatever this big heartbreak was um, and once you do that it, it, it's, it's like you're taking energy away from the heartbreak and moving more towards everything we've said taking the time out to have a real big think 
you see what if you watch the cards here you'll see the the thing that's happening there's been heartbreak there's been a situation which really hurt you really hurt you and you're picking up all your energy all your swords all the words and you're saying oh whoa 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 i'm getting the hell out of this situation i'm not i'm shutting my mouth i'm not adding any more fuel to this fire and i'm turning my back on it taking everything i have and tiptoeing away so they don't see you so there's a little bit of an element of hiddenness here of being a bit secretive of being a bit cloak and dagger where you're saying i'm stepping away from this crazy person or this crazy situation but i'm doing it quietly quietly so they don't notice that i'm not communicating with them i'm kind of ghosting them i'm kind of not answering their calls not replying but i I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make it look like everything is okay but what they don't know is I'm pulling back big time and I'm pulling back to take a time out to have a real review as we said of how to proceed with this now this is always quite a Neptunian card Neptune is in your house of your career and there could have been a moment within your career too where you were let's say acting a little bit out of sorts i mean here he, he might say that you might have taken things a bit too far at some point the 10th house is your career wherever you stand out wherever you put yourself out there in public for key figures to see what you're doing and there may have been a moment where you may have been acting a bit drunk was it during your birthday gemini that you had a little bit too much to drink or something and the this is what it, it was like when you were kind of not in your full senses in some way that somebody put the knife in yeah somebody put the knife in on the other side of things there is um certainly something within your career that you have to re-strategize go back and have a good long think about how to handle the next step um, but also this is a, a, a water card, a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. We're in Cancer season now. And it's, it's a card that is about mastering your emotions, mastering your psychic intuition too. So it's saying trust, first of all, calm down after everything that has been happening to you, Gemini. Calm down, get your emotions in order, get your reactions in order, take some of the fire out of it and stay a bit cooler. And once you've mastered your reactions, responses and emotions, then you'll be able to quiet your mind <clears throat> and, excuse me, and tap into something deeper, something more psychic. Now you are, I mean, you're very much at the moment in touch with deeper things, psychological things, with Saturn and Pluto in your eighth house, you know, the moon in there with Saturn and Pluto, that uh, maybe that's what it was all about, Saturn and Pluto trying to get you to eliminate the last restrictions and blocks psychologically for you, so that your perspective could totally change, so that the doors could blow wide open and you'd see the world and everybody in it in a totally new way yeah maybe that's it but it's also the card of master ma yeah master your emotions get it together if you're dealing with a water sign uh, you might get good advice actually from a water sign and this month being quite a watery month you could get a good good bit of insight on how to deal with your emotions water sign i mean you're getting advice from them but i don't know i don't know yeah they're helping you there's a water sign scorpio cancer or pisces that are helping you through this uh, i just hope that it's not the pisces alcohol that's helping you get through this or excessive amounts of something that takes you out of your mind that's not what you need right now Gemini it's not the energy you need you need a clear mind and you know once you clear your mind you'll be able to tap into this deep wisdom 
the, the, you'll be able to learn the lesson of the eighth house better. The hidden things, the secret things, the things that were brought up for scrutiny, the things that were made, perhaps made public, something that you wanted to remain hidden that was made public, or something that a, a person that you had trusted brought up and made public and embarrassed you and humiliated you. Well, the truth is out now, it seems, Gemini. And you, my love, are going to be able to learn so much from this. It's a big month. It's a big month for, for you, but you will get huge power from this. Your psychic senses are up. You're, 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 you're drawing a huge amount of power. And you're drawing a huge amount of power from the same thing again, from being introspective. She's down deep. She's, she's gone through hell. You might feel that too, Gemini, that over the last short period that you've been through a bit of hell. You've been to hell and back. And here comes your moment where you relax and get organized and examine, analyze what has happened and also maybe your behavior too in what has happened so that you can come out stronger. He's holding his little light up. And of course, you need an extra bit of light because it's quite dark. These hidden places in the mind and the, in the subconscious, taboo things. Yeah, your communication might change a little bit too this month, Gemini. You might start turning your conversations to deeper things, more occult things, psychological things. Deeper, 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 deeper wisdom. And you need extra light to really fully explore this wisdom. This is why I want you to be in your full senses this month. Uh, because it was when you weren't in your full senses that you got caught out. You're aware now. Now it's about being hyper aware about the deeper, deeper things. Because when you're hyper aware, Gemini, you will realize that there was some shadowy stuff happening to you, Gemini. Yeah, big, big Gemini, big. Your fears were brought to the surface. Hidden things were brought to the surface. Other people playing games with you were brought to the surface. Power games, power trips. People behaving very, very badly. Saturn, Saturn in the house there with the moon. Yeah. You, you, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, your needs, the things that you needed were restricted. The things that would help you emotionally were, were restricted. It's like when you opened up and when you were vulnerable, you were slapped down, punished almost, restricted. The things that you need were taken away from you. The, the support that you needed from key people in your life were taken away from you. And it was because of that that you were left a bit high and dry, left a bit on your own, felt that you were going through hell a bit on your own. But because you've done that, and because you've garnered wisdom from going to hell and back, you've conquered your fears. You've conquered your fears. I think, didn't we talk about this last month, Gemini, that the devil was appearing, a tricky person, was appearing in your life and you know something sure everything we've said you can ghost that person now delete them from your life and do it in a, in a kind of a way where they don't notice that you're doing it yet what you can take from this is a huge huge lesson huge lesson learned this month huge that nobody will ever have control over, over you again in that way. Nothing outside of you is more important than what's going on inside of you. Your dreams, your aspirations, the projects that you're doing, you, you must now depend upon your own strength and not allow anything outside of you distract you. Don't let money problems distract you. Don't let uh, problems with your long-range investments distract you, money issues, financial issues, tax issues, banking issues, worrying about debts too. Don't let those issues distract you from the truth. And the truth is you're going places, Gemini. 
You're going places. And this is the test. This is the one that says, if you're going places, do you really believe in what you're doing? Do you really believe, Gemini, in all these wonderful dreams that you have for your future? Well, do you? Well, I'm going to test you to see if you do. And you will pass this test. You will with this lovely new perspective and lovely new things to aim for. And because of this, because you, you've come through it, here comes Hermes, the magician, to say, well, where do you want to go now, baby? You've passed the test. You're free to go. You were, like the game of Monopoly, you were given the card of do not pass, go, go straight to jail, and you had to sit there, and you had to think, you had to contemplate, you were in the naughty corner, and, and now you've come out of it. And here is your get out of jail card. <laughs> yeah, it's like that. Get out of the prison of the stress that you've been under card. Get out of the prison of somebody having a hold over you in some way card. Because you're never going back there again. You've the monopoly empire to build. You've got rent to collect, baby. <laughs> and he's saying, well, which road do you want to go? Where, where do you want to go? The choice is yours. Uh, and also with this card, after the lessons you've learned with, with the stresses you've been under. He says, do you want to choose the high road? Do you want to choose the high road? And allow judgment to do its thing? Allow karma to do its thing? Or do you want to choose the low road? Do you want to behave like those people who treated you badly? Do you want to get stuck in the in the crap that they brought to your life? Do you want to stay stuck in prison? Do you want to stay stuck in the hell that was brought to you? Or do you want to move on? I suggest you move on because when you do move on, this is beautiful. The bottom row of cards is saying, when you do move on, you're allowing a, a judgment to take place for you and for other people. You will be, as I said, taking the time out to have a think about how you've walked yourself into traps, how you've participated in some way in allowing other people have that level of power over you. And you're calling it all up for review and you're saying, like I said, trick me once, but you won't trick me twice. I will remember this and this will never happen again. Uh, and so that's all happening. But there also is an element of, it, it's not all doom and gloom. There are things that you can salvage from this. Lessons can be learned from this. And of course, the first big lesson is keep your own self-esteem and self-worth intact, no matter what's been thrown at you. And usually, when big lessons happen like this, Gemini, it usually means that something really big positively is coming in your direction. It's like clean, clean all that crap up so that you've got space for something better. And, and salvage now only the things that are worth bringing into your gorgeous new future, my love. Really, that's the truth. And everything else, everything else, yeah, karma is a bitch for everybody else and for everything else once you let go. And once you let go and allow karma step in, I mean Uranus, the, 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 the one that's really motivating so many big changes in your life right now is in your 12th house of judgments, of letting things go once and for all. Look, the influence again there, deep hidden wisdom, esoteric wisdom. It, needing extra light to go that bit deeper, deeper, deeper into this wisdom, to, to go into the abyss so you can find deeper truths. And when you do find these deeper truths and when you do let all the unnecessary baggage go, you're feeling more content and satisfied in yourself. You're happier within yourself. You feel more grounded. You feel more optimistic and positive. And something is growing in you. Nine, full moon lunar eclipse in the ninth house. The lunar eclipse, even though it might seem like this month is a great big upheaval or whatever's going on, it's ultimately designed, my love, to bring you happiness, to bring you this type of contentment. And to remind you that 
Go back to wishing for the happy endings. It's very easy when we go through these trials, when we go through hell, to forget that you can wish for better outcomes. And this is what July is bringing to you, a, a reminder that you have, you have your own magic, Gemini. And when you let all the dross go and leave it for karma in some way to take care of and move on, you end up feeling more solid, grounded, secure, that you've, that you've made a, a solid commitment into being more emotionally stable within yourself so that nobody can ever knock you off course again. Look at this, the sun. Now the sun begins in your second house of self-worth, self-value. That's growing, it's shining on that. Money is also becoming healthier. Your financial situation is becoming healthier. And then the new moon, solar eclipse, the same thing. Money is becoming healthier. You won't have to worry about, from, about that for much longer, my love. The sun is shining. And the sun brings you joy and happiness. Maybe after all the shit that's been happening, you need a laugh. <laughs> you, you need to, to go out and have a bit of fun. You've been pulled in so many directions, my love, that it's time now to relax the mind. Take your mind just out of it and be, just indulge in pleasure. Heart energy stuff too. Go back to what makes your heart happy. Go back to what brings you joy, bliss. Go back to your creativity in everything that you're doing. Um, remind yourself that a lot of stress can be relieved when you are creative, uh, when you do something for the fun of it, just for the fun of it. Not worrying about if it's a creative thing that you do in your career. Stop worrying about getting it so right and bending it and hammering it into shape. At the end of the month, just worry about, is it creative? Is it true? Is it honest? Does it come from my heart? And allow that to be your guide as you leave July. Do things from the heart and from a place of fun and joy. And when you do that, you have another nine card. Your perspective is changing totally on your emotional situation, your emotional environment, the people that you love and care about. You're seeing it all with new eyes and it gives you more security, but also in your finances. You're seeing it all in a whole new light. And because you are, because you're able to analyze it, scrutinize it, and get really into the details of it, you feel freer and more independent. What a great way to end the month, Gemini, really. You're, you're free, you're liberated, you're independent again. And you're standing on your own two feet. This is the card, of, of, I say it's showing people that you are outstanding in your field, outstanding in your field. And recognizing that, the, the second thing to recognize is that your environment your environment could be changed up a little bit because sometimes we say you are where you are. So you are your friends, you are your environment, you do become where you are eventually. And what you might learn at the very end of the month is that you need to make a grand sweep of your environment, clean up your contacts, clean up your communications with certain people, let some people go. and. Make your environment more conducive to you feeling more empowered, more independent, and getting back on your own two feet and gaining financial independence. Yeah, financial independence from somebody. Uh, maybe there was an issue here where you were overly dependent on an outside source of money, overly dependent on your partner's money, overly dependent on a loan coming back to you, overly depending on back tax or something coming back to you. It's now a wake up call where it's don't wish for something that you've no control over. Only now focus on what you can control. And that is, that is your ultimate happy ending to this month, this crazy month it seems for you, Gemini. 
And um, I'm going to leave it at that. And Gemini, I'm sorry that you had to experience what you experienced, but remember you will come through this. Stay smart. Don't play somebody at their game. Remember to walk away, lick your wounds, see what your part in all of this was, and resolve, uh, make a resolution to never ever allow yourself be in that vulnerable position again and go easy with the alcohol, go easy with um, maybe drugs, go easy with kind of even, uh, I know the over escapism, maybe meditating a little bit too much or escaping into your mind or escaping into something. Come back to reality, love, and deal with these problems. And when you do, it's success, success, success. All right, Gemini, yeah, I'll leave it at that. And if this is the first time watching my videos, then please do subscribe. Join me on Facebook, She Bear Tarot. We have a little community going on there. I'm on Instagram and Twitter too. I, I am telling people I do have these things. I'm not very, very active on social media because I'm not very good at social media. I'm not as good as you, Gemini. You're great on social media. You have your phone and everything always going. You're the communicator. I, I, I'm just not that person. So, um, Bear with me when you do come, but there is a lovely little community going on there with very, very nice people, and I'd, I'd love you to come there. And in the meantime, I am going to give you a very, very big kiss for luck as you open these doors into your brand new world and leaving the shit behind, Gemini. Mwah! I love you so much, and I'll see you next month. Bye, my love.